Only on Fox, new life. Ukrainian church in Spartanburg now has boots on the ground in Poland as refugees look for safety. People are crossing into Poland in droves, hoping to live a better and safer life while the Russian attacks continue. So many people don't know how long this will last. And many of the church members still have loved ones over in Ukraine. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson spoke with the person who's over there still in Ukraine about what she is witnessing firsthand. Yeah, Tori, Mira Small is full of passion and hope as she partners with organizations in Poland to help those refugees last month. I spoke with her father and brother at New Life Ukrainian about this war unfolding. Now that she's in the region, she's trying her best to make a difference while so many people face uncertainty. I came here as a representative of New Life Ukrainian Church. Mira Small is on a mission to help refugees fleeing Ukraine. She's staying about an hour away from the Poland-Ukraine border, but what her eyes are seeing in real time is a humanitarian crisis unfolding as people run to safety. Quite literally, as soon as the refugees cross that border, there's drivers with their cars, with sprinters, with vans that pick them up. Then they get in contact with organizations that the drivers have here, which is churches. Uh, it's usually a lot of churches that kind of have these Things, these connections set up. This video she sent me shows refugees after they've crossed into Poland from Ukraine. Pictures show cots for if someone needs a place to sleep. This video shows the moment volunteers are celebrating a little girl's birthday in the midst of chaos. Polish people have been the true friends of Ukraine. This war has been going on for weeks and it's unclear how long the attacks will last. Some days are tougher than others. The more bombings and shootings and rockets, uh, right after that, people tend to move. Smalls Church, New Life Ukrainian, sent her on a mission to find out what the needs are. But one thing she's learning is just how strong some of the people fleeing terror are. As I'm talking to these people, you know, I'm asking, would you return back to your country? Would you return back to your city, to your town? And every single one has like, yes, get the chance. We're going to rebuild. We're going to restart. She plans to be in Poland for a month. The experience for her is eye-opening. When you're here and you're actually, it's it's different than what I thought it was going to be. Now, Mira is hoping more people would get involved and continue helping Ukrainian, especially refugees. Now, the church has started a fund for a specific organization to help them out there. I'll have a link posted inside of our app. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, 10 o'clock news.